Get into this reset. Get into this reset. Make us give us up and call the light. Get into this reset. Yeah. I'ma adjust my clock like day. Like savings, next era unlocked. And I ain't playing by. Hey guys. I'm in the kitchen. I just washed dishes before going into the office breakfast also pack my lunch box this morning i have even managed to cut up some watermelon look at me how the mommy's on it this morning i also got some lasagna a little leftovers i met up with the girls last night i didn't vlog so sorry guys <laughs> but we went to like taco tuesday ciao harlem broccoli Y'all don't mind my place. Do not, do not, do not mind my place. Okay. Pebbles. Okay, now I just need an outfit. Let's go. Go, Jayla, go. All right guys, made it to my desk over in this office. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out my things. One being this planner that I'm so excited to get into. My laptop. I always bring my phone stand just in case, you know, I need to talk to the girls on TikTok or really just not hold the phone, so that's that. Got all my chargers. Look, I didn't jumble it up this morning. My headphones. Okay. And a pen. I need a pen. Mm. We're ready to start. This being check, check. Hi guys. So I leave one office, come to the other office because. We have stuff to finish here. Harlem, do you miss mommy during the daytime? Do you miss mommy during the daytime, huh? You miss me? You miss mommy being in the house? Yeah, huh, huh? You miss mommy? You miss mommy? <laughs> I miss you too. I miss you too. You know, I really feel like what I needed was to get pretty. Look, I didn't took off all them office work clothes. <laughs> I miss hearing my Alexa when I have meetings and packages. <laughs> I appreciate working in an office, but you know, of course, now that my time is split doing something else, I also appreciate more just working from home and doing my own thing, but you guys know I can do both Ooh -ooh. I can do both I'm just a little more appreciative of all that I have going on in my business because something else is pulling me away and I don't know I just feel like I kind of have that spark again my cousin got her care package that I sent, I sent a baby bag, a new work bag, some basic black um, outfits from Amazon and basic black shades. I just wanted her to feel good. So that's what I did for her. So thankful to be able to be a blessing. Like what? To be able to be a blessing to someone else? Like. Ugh please like that's what I work hard for that's that's why that's the reason Hello. hey hey what you doing no, we all right guys so after juggling my business and working in the office on someone else's business me and the girls that I work in the office with I work in the office with two girls we decided to get some juicy crab we literally were talking in the office all week about getting crab legs so I was so happy we were so happy to get some crab legs after work this day like we ran to the juicy crab after work um so yeah, this is just us hanging out and 
getting some food. Food is, you know, my love language. And a lot of the people that I hang out with, that's their love language too. You know, we're gonna bond over some food, have a little girl talk, have a little cocktail. That's typically how the bonds actually happen. And yeah, so I'm just with the girls right now. Work this day was a lot because like I said, I'm juggling two different things at the same time and I'm running home to um, do my makeup, to create some content to send to a brand while also still needing to submit, um, you know, marketing reports for what I'm working on at in the office. So. It's been a lot to juggle, nothing that I can't handle, just like, I just feel like my life is like, woo, um, baby, I finished that food. I, I ate them crab legs up real fast, real quick. But yeah, life has been a lot for me. I'm like working on a lot and I just be needing my little happy moments, which is gonna be that food. Now, when I got home, I did have boxing later on this evening and I was talking about not knowing if I wanted to go and mess up my hair or not. But I started my Fabletic subscription back where I can get monthly workout outfits, working out, helps me with staying on a consistent schedule and then just releasing any buildup during the day or week that I have from all this work that I do. Like I have to release in some way. So yeah, I needed cute workout outfits and Fabletics has really, really good quality um, workout outfits. I'm gonna have the link in my description box. So I got a few different sets that can make me happy with going to the gym. And I also use Class Pass to schedule any like workouts, whether I'm doing Pilates or um, boxing or whatever I'm doing for the evening of my, my activity of choice. So this is me about to put on my outfit and I chose this lavender one because with boxing, I, you know, we just need to cover the bum. We don't need to be too sexy. You know, sometimes the workout outfits be a little sexy. So I got these with the like short, like the compression shorts with the shorts on top. Like I don't need to be being sexualized while I'm at the gym. I mean, I know I'm a sexy girl, but we trying to get our workout activity in. So this is just me at the gym. Now the next day I went to Invest Fest. Um, one of my friends had media passes. So I want to see how an event like this, this was an event with 20,000 people there. I want to see how it was actually ran. Um, so it was really nice going. I got to meet a lot of you guys. I was not expecting it cause I was just going as like a little pop in. Like I'm just popping in, seeing what's going on. And my girls was there. Of course, y'all are always there. Now, while I was there, I was able to get interviewed so I was getting interviewed and as you guys can see we were like kind of back in the corner this is only one little corner of the event these were the people that were headlining event so many people there Diddy was amazing but let's get to my interview all right yes yes live and direct is the young exec King Carl I'm here with the mogul herself she's an amazing queen a phenomenal youtuber but just a, just an all around great person Jayla Corey on how you feeling What's up, guys? Uh, oh, that's your, that's your signature uh, intro, right? What's up? <laughs> so what made you want to impact young women all across the world? So growing up, I didn't see the representation. You know, our age group is kind of like we were half not on social media, and then social media came into play. See, the new kids, y'all yes, yes. all on social media. But for us, we didn't have the representation. So mm -hmm. when I looked on YouTube, I didn't see the black girl. Wow, okay. You know, so now we see the black girls. We see representation. But back then, I didn't know how to do my hair. And, you know, so these were things that I wanted to go on a journey with the girls to yes. figure it out. How do we how what's our hair going to look like? How do right. we do the baby hairs? You know, how do we do on put on the lash? How do we do the makeup? How do we know our style? Like I was just so into that. And then on top of that, I was going to college and that was something that you couldn't find on the internet. I remember being in high school looking at like the AKs, like, you know, trying to find yes. stuff on the internet about them, but it's not much on there. So of course I had to go to college, pledge AKA. I want to show the journey and I documented that and it was so many people that was like, oh my God, like this is what's happening on college campuses. This is how life can be. Like this girl is going after her goals. This is girl, she's really going for it, mm -hmm. you know? So is there such a thing, uh, Put when you put your life out there for the public, it's kind of like like a rea your own reality show, right? So is it such a thing as sharing too much with the world? I think that over the years, boundaries is something that I've learned. Um, so I don't think it's 
it's about sharing too much. It's about how you share it and then how it can probably affect your mental health. You know, a lot of times we just treat social media just like, you know, we're doing it, but that stuff lives for forever. You know, you can't take it back once it's on the internet. So I think that that's just something I became more and more aware of with growing into who I was. That's a fact. I love that. So speaking of which, um, you know, you've been a role model for a lot of women for so many years. What advice would you give your younger self, knowing everything you know now, when you were just getting started? I think that I'm super, like, kind of, like, protective over, like, like the new creators coming in. Because I'm like, oh, my God, don't do that because I did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, make sure that y'all paying y'all taxes. Make sure that you're putting that money wow. to the side. Make sure that you're doing this. Like, all these business things I had to learn so I can just kind of see the space and be like, oh, she doing that. Okay, we're going to see. Girl, get it together. Get it together. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. So, so yeah, no, you said a lot right there. Yeah. Um, making sure you put money to the side. Yeah. We don't do that that often. Paying your taxes or, or just making sure you have more knowledge on more, that. More, more um, knowledge about being an entrepreneur. That, that, that is not taught. Like, yes, going, you know, because we're just, like, being creative on the Internet. Right. And when you're creative, that does not mean that you're good at all the other business things. That's like, that, just because you're a creative and you're making money does not mean that you have those other skills. So those are skills that I had to go out and acquire and, and learn. I had to go to the classes to learn this because I actually didn't know I it. So I made a lot of mistakes, but I feel like they were things that I had to learn to be better in my business. And, and it's, it's kind of crazy because when you're learning as you're growing, as you're putting yourself out there publicly, people hold you to a certain level of public scrutiny, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you handle the criticism, the haters, the negative comments and just all that trash talk and still keep sane and mentally healthy Ooh, go to therapy y'all mm. i make sure that i have my like my circle my family somebody to lean on because right. i'm not always strong you know like i can put out to the world that i'm strong but in the in the back end maybe i am going through something mm. so it's not easy you know a lot of people could be like oh you know i just don't look at the comments or you know we we kind of just those are nice things to say right, but right. at the end of the day we know that things affect people mm -hmm. you know really bad so i would say like just continue to try to work on your mental health and like get that help if you really do need it that's a fact i love that so any projects that you're working on that we can stay tuned in or support so right now I am working on some things. I don't even know if I can discuss. I'm always working on things. So overall, I feel like my audience is like, half of them want me to like do real estate. Like they want to see homes. The other half is like, girl, you dropping some music? Then the other half is like, Jayla, is there anything on Jayla's closet? So I feel like for me, I have like different alter egos like I, I i have different personalities okay, there we go okay it's, it's, one is an alter ego one is a little you know feisty or whatever one's very classy you know all that and then also change my hair a lot so then it you can see it in the hairstyles and stuff so i'm just overall multifaceted and i do have quite a bit coming out that i'm working on and i'm just excited for it to all come together i love it i love it make sure y'all stay tuned make sure y'all support anyone who's doing their thing um, especially an innovator in the game, you got to make sure you show them a lot of love and support. So how do we get in contact with you for those who don't know? So I'm Jayla Corian on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm all around. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Uh, thank you for coming to InvestFest. Again, it's live and direct. It's the young exec, King Carl. Peace. If you didn't know, I have a very full life and things just keep on going. Invites just keep on being sent out to me. So one of my homegirls was having a house party. So I'm pulling up to the house right now. And this was a nice little stop. I have to support my North Carolina family. So, you know, any of my peoples that's from North Carolina, I'm always going to pull up on and say hey to. So I walked in. They had some nice little hors d'oeuvres, a little chip and dip some champagne even had a bartender it was a pool in the back you know just mansion vibes mansion party vibes i love pulling up to a good little mansion party and yes i'm gonna grab a little bit of something and you see that drink with that watermelon on it you know i definitely had to have me some 
So this is my girl, Adrienne. It was her special night of her celebrating, just being in business, putting on events, and she wanted her closest people there to celebrate. So this is the outside area. They had the tunes going outside here as well. And like I said, this was an intimate vibe going on, but we have to celebrate our accomplishments 100%. And we're getting our dance on, you know, I'm like, you make me happy. I have no clue what song is on. And then we have custom designs by my friend Trey, also known as Iverson Trollinger. He has been doing his big ones, styling Glorilla, some other celebrities. I think I can't even say right now, but boom, I had to show up in support. Yeah. What's up, guys? I wanted to sit outside. It's a bit hot out here. I'm not gonna lie. Hello! So I made it to Lee Colonial. I love this spot. Really came here because they have the best chicken soup. Like it's spicy, it's so good. So I had to get some of this. It's what I was craving right now. Now it is a little warm outside. I am eating one of my homegirls here. But if the temperature was just a little bit lower, it would be like the perfect vibe. It is a little warm. I don't mind it. Maybe she's going to want to sit on the inside. So for right now, having water and a lemon drop and then I will be having some soup. <laughs> so this is the vibes for today. Yeah. My lemon drop just came. Yummy, cheers. All right guys, so my hot day joined me. We are out getting a little lychee martini. A lot tranky trank, yeah. <laughs> and talking about business. I mean, literally, what would I do without girlfriends that I'm able to just vent to at the end of a long work week? Go out and get a little drinky drink. Um, we were hanging out in Bucket Shops. I have not tried this new restaurant, Caramel. We actually went to Lee Colonial that was across the street um, in that same little area. But my outfit looks so cute by Caramel. I'm definitely going to have to try it. I'm going to make, you know, whenever I meet a cute guy, cute new guy. I'm going to say, can you take me to Caramel? <laughs> but I haven't tried the place yet. The food does look a little bit bougie. And recently I've been in the mood for some like Southern Louisiana stuff, um, which we did end up going to Louisiana to get some gumbo. <laughs> Look at us like, what? We didn't even want that bougie food. We wanted the good stuff. <laughs> What's up guys? Thank you for staying to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A word from our sponsor. You know they love the digital boss space that's getting to the bag and starting their businesses. So if you didn't know, Squarespace is our sponsor and they are a website hosting platform that allows you to launch your website, ship out orders, and do all your boss babe activities. My website right now is currently getting a revamp and I'm doing over my home page, but she's still a cutie. But, you know, I have to make sure that I keep my website up to date. If you are interested in starting your own website, make sure you guys go to www.squarespace.com backslash Jayla and get a free trial and 10% off your website hosting platform. You can do a lot of things on there, like you can have a schedule, maybe you need booking clients. It's really limitless. Squarespace has this new fluid engine that allows you to drag and drop your photos and everything into your website design so it's super user friendly. I'm going to have the link in my description box and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! To work I go! <laughs> Yeah.